everyone, welcome to Inside Wire. Today we're going to take a look at the Intel Nook. What we're going to do with this today, we're going to be installing some RAM and an SSD inside it. I have posted another video which uh, goes into more detail about the Intel Nook. So if you want to take a look at that, there's a link on the screen and also a link in the description below. Let's get straight into it. So here is the Intel Nook. This is the i5 processor, 10th generation. This is the bare bones model. Um, so this would require you to purchase additional memory and additional hard drive space. Today we're going to be installing 32 gig of RAM. This is a crucial kit. So this is two 16 gig chips. And we're also going to be installing uh, one terabyte uh, crucial M2 hard drive. So this is the box, um, it's, a, it's a fairly small box um, for a small form factor PC. Let's have a look inside. So here is the small form factor PC itself. It has a couple of USBs on the front with a power button and a headphone jack. On the back there is the power HDMI network port and three USBs, one USB 3.1 and one USB C. Further inside the box, and just get the packaging out of the way. So further inside the box, we have some hard drive screws. These are to connect the two and a half inch hard drive to the, uh, into, the, into the PC. Then also further inside the box, we have a power cable, um, some instructions and We have a monitor mount. So this machine, because of its size, it can be um, mounted on the back of your PC monitor. And further inside the box, there's actually a little sticker inside as well. So let's have a little look at the machine. Um, so if you flip the machine over, you'll see there's four screws located at the back. One, two, three, and four. We need to undo these. So this is inside the machine. Let's take a closer look. So inside here we have two memory slots. This is where your RAM will be installed. This is configurable up to 64 gig of RAM. This is the M2 slot. This is where we will be installing the SSD. There's a small little screw, as you can see, which needs to be undone before the hard drive can be installed. There's an additional SATA cable, which we'll have a look at that after. So let's get on and install the hard drive. So just taking out the packaging. So we undo this screw down here. And this is a really small and tiny screw, so do keep it safe as you will need it to secure the drive in the machine. Push the drive down, pop the screw on the hole, and then screw it back into place. Just so you can have a look, you can see that then holds the drive down in place. So that's the hard drive installed. So we'll move on to the memory now. Um, there's two chips here that need to be installed, two 16 gigabyte crucial chips. 
So when installing the chip, you will see there's a little groove on it. You need to make sure it's the right way. If you try to put it in the wrong way, it won't actually go any further. It will stop you from pushing it in. Um, so we'll flip it over, install it in the right way, and you will actually see the gold pins slightly disappear as well. Push it down and it clicks into place. So just this additional bit here, there's a hard drive you can install, which goes into there. So you can see the SATA ports are there. So this can be for an SSD or HDD. Uh, it's a two and a half inch drive and it can just be slotted straight into here. So you can install two drives in here. When popping the case back on, um, you can see I've done it there. There's actually a, an arrow at the front, um, which points to the right direction so that points to the front of the machine make sure it's locked in right and that should just push down straight in and you should be able to just tighten the four screws back up and there we have it that is how you install the hard drive and ram inside of an intel nuc I hope you found this video useful. If so, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. There is another video which goes into more detail of the Intel Nook. You will find the link in the description below. There are also some additional links in the description below of the products used in this video. Feel free to check them out and I'll see you in the next one.